Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So, um, a new update basically just hit us just now, um, and there was a new monster. She's the new floor 70 tower of insolence boss. So, I think she's pretty pretty good. I pretty good for raid comps. She's also um, she also has a nice rack, so it's uh, it's definitely definitely win win. Um, but anyway, she's a, a single, I think not, not a single target, um, she does have AoE, but she's basically just a self-buffing damage dealer, like she doesn't really do anything for the team, she basically just makes herself stronger, um, but I think this is still pretty good, because if you're running her with like a full armor, armor, armor break comp, she's going to be able to proc this a lot, and um, basically always guarantee to, to crit and stuff, so that's definitely really really nice um, and yeah I, I've actually I was trying to progress through the tower um, I will be able to get her tomorrow like I will be able to get to floor 70 tomorrow um, but right now you know since, since I only have seven seven tickets and it's it's refresh I won't be able to reach her today but what, what we can do is I'll I'll do some um, Coliseum and, and arena battles I think and then and then I think that's that's pretty much it like for today and then tomorrow we can we can try and and grab her um, not sure if I should change up my my calls actually let's let's uh, let's start with a Coliseum battle first before I I even do my arenas there's also a new login event like if you if you log in during these days they give you a lot of like nice free rewards holy shit Full six star comps. What is this bullshit? I seriously doubt that I can beat any of these. I just wish I could get more Adele and like Death Knight pieces. They're they're kind of the only monsters I really want. Okay, I got wrecked. That that breath is so strong. Can't even kill his Baphomet. This is so hard, like, getting in, like, all the top 100 people already have, like, full 6-star teams, it's, like, crazy. They have, like, multiple golds as well, so it's, like, it's it's pretty much impossible. Um, <laughs> I, I haven't been, like, that competitive, and I, I don't think I can even be that competitive, because there's a limit to how much shit I can get, you know, each day. And ever since they, they made, like, they keep, kept dec decreasing the prices... Um, the gap between pay to win and like free to play has gotten wider and wider each time. I think, because if you think about it, you can pay for less to get more now, like with actual money, because everything can be bought with diamonds, right? Um, you can re refresh your your tries with diamonds, so basically you're not limited to like a daily lockout. If you really really want to, you can basically farm like a shit ton you can like refill 10 times like if you spend a thousand diamonds every single day and you can use those to buy daggers you can you can spend more than a thousand daggers each day because you can you can buy 10 times and then that's like a thousand daggers and they can donate to guild which is like 500 no wait five times five it's like 250 daggers more um and then and then if you if you just refill, then you can farm all the gold material and just raise your whole team to gold, and then be max level. You know all that, all that good shit. Um, so I think the the gap between pay to win and free to play is like getting wider and wider. And I, I guess it's still nice that they're giving us these um, events, so we can we can kind of catch up, or else it's going to be a, a lot harder um, to do that in the future. I'm going to have to tell you guys the truth. I was running through the the tower just now. And then, um, yeah, I, I realized that I <laughs> I wasn't recording, which is which is pretty fucking dumb. But um, I guess I guess it's still alright. I, I mean, I can still show my arena fights, although it's getting a little bit repetitive. Like it's kind of the same thing every day. Um, I'm pretty pretty glad that the tower has changed, so I'll be able to definitely show some 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 tower runs um, in the future as well. Right, he's running double deep. He's running double tank. Um, one DPS. Oh shit! He has a death knight. It's not good. Actually, I, I don't think it matters. I have my stone golem. Pretty sure that death knight is not going to be doing too much damage to me. Because 
Man, I haven't even been popping Owen. A nice crit buff. My Rune's actually pretty close to 6 stars. I think she's halfway already. I just need to farm like for like 3 more weeks. Non-stop. Actually wait, maybe more than that. Maybe like a month. And then I'll 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 probably be able to get her to, to six stars. Maybe I should just use all farmable monsters. Then I can have a six star team. I should have done that, but now it's like kind of too late because you need to to start early. Um, dang! Someone just owned me in the the arena. Maybe I can beat this guy. He is running double tank 1 DPS. I'm running double damage dealer. I might actually lose to this. It, it depends on how much he evades. Like if he evades a lot, then I'm I'm pretty fucked. Actually, this is really bad. I have to kill his Kurtz and then kill his Baphomet. And then if my Adele falls before that, I'm pretty much fucked. Oh shit. Please don't evade this. Actually, wait, no, my, that curse isn't even dead. Alright, I just got wrecked. I just got wrecked hard. Right, that, was a, that was a little bit short, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.